How you doing, YouTube? Matt Massa Beer Reviews. New brewery time. Down River Brewing Company out of Stroudsburg, Pennsylvania. Um, these guys opened, God, probably right around when the pandemic kind of went down, maybe right before that. And um, they're located in downtown Stroudsburg. It's probably one of the closest kind of towns to me. Um, but, you know, the way the pandemic works, I haven't really had a chance to stop by, you know, because I really don't go to breweries and do all that kind of stuff. And, you know, um, but I was out and about today. I actually had to go um, into Stroudsburg, like a block or so away from these guys. I said, screw it. I'm here. Let me go pick up some beer. It was early. I walked in. You know what I mean? Just open. So walked in, grabbed two crowlers. I'll do both of those um, review-wise, and then we'll go from there. Um, yeah, I haven't had anything from these guys. I'm pretty sure I, I haven't had anything from these guys. I don't know if my buddy Keith gave me anything. I don't remember. Anyway, we're going to dive into it. This is uh, their Broken Tra Trails Pilsner. Um, 8% or 6% alcohol by volume. So a little bit up there in Pilsner standards as far as ABV goes. Um, and it was packaged. And this is, I guess, is kind of bummer. I didn't really look at it. Uh, it says packaged uh, 328. Um, today is the 3rd um, of April. So you're talking about 328. That's three to six days. Um, this beer is, you know, usually crowlers. More often than not, a brewery is going to kind of push you to drink those within a week. Um, I'm going to drink these the same day I pick them up. So this one, you know, it's kind of at the tail end of a week. So that's a bit of a bummer. It is what it is. I assume you own a brewery and when they pre crowler stuff, I always assume it's going to be a day or two days old. Um, never look at dates, but it is what it is. We'll see what's what. So anyway, dive into this stuff. See what we got going on. Yeah, they're a little spot. It's nice. I mean, the brewery's not gigantic. They have like... um. Uh, pretty, uh, not gigantic tap room, but it's, um, the brewer is, the brewery is in the tap room. It's like one of those smaller breweries, a little like axe thrown thing going on. Um, they have food and stuff like that. So it looked like a pretty, pretty decent spot. Um, beer wise, it's all the part of like a non-filtered, uh, Pilsner. And by that, I mean, they dropped it out as best they could without filtering it. Cause there's the ever so slightest bit of haze to it. Um, label wise, it's a crowler, you know, we only talk about crowler labels anyway but yeah i mean she looks the part of a pilsner crispy um nice light just south of khaki colored head um that straw yellow look what you typically expect from a pilsner so we'll see what's what let's get a nose it very much like a uh, fruit forward in a like a i get to always get this melon component in like pilsner kolsch i don't know if it's that old school kind of hoppiness a hallertau thing here tetanang thing there um but i always get the soft melon characteristics of pilsner and kolsch getting that here on top of this nice um relatively aggressive for its abv maltiness not a huge bitterness on the nose nothing too crazy aromatic hop wise i should say but it has this nice pilsner kind of a maltiness to it maybe even just a skosh above that not getting to like vienna territory but a little bit bigger than just straight kind of uh pilsner malt and it's got that little bit of kind of fruity kind of melon characteristic to the uh to the yeast or the hops let's dive in cheers that's yeah, not too bad it's a little bit hefty wouldn't go and call this a crispy boy I mean, it's a 6% beer, so that that ABV level, that malt base that you had to get to that ABV level, it'd be really hard-pressed to get to that super light, crispy level of uh, of, uh, of lager. Um, I'm not getting a huge lager kind of yeast in this off it. You can tell it's a lager, you know how clean it is. It finishes pretty snappy, pretty clean. Um, and the hops are pretty decent. They probably stopped short of like a Czech pills kind of level hopping, but it has this nice kind of, that little melon component I talked about, I think that actually is coming from the hop with a nice soft kind of like bittering kind of herbal kind of hoppiness. Done by done, it's a tasty Pilsner. I mean, you give me one of these on draft, I walk in a brewery, they throw one of these at me. I'm, I'm a happy camper. The only thing I would kind of, I wouldn't say knock, but just maybe be like, you know, in a perfect world, uh, well, the Crowler Refresher. And two, 
Um, just that heftiness of the beer, lower ABV. Like a six percent pilsner is a little bit high for me. I know some some of them get up there. Rot House Pils. There's it's not like they don't get up in the six percent, but you know I like my my pilsners to be dancing around five, if not a little bit below. But that's personal preference. Nothing to get the beer uh, against the beer for that. The only thing is, I think once you get to that six percent, it's really tough to get to that lighter. Um, kind of cr again, keep throwing out the word crispier kind of mouthfeel. I know again. Not all Pilsner is supposed to be like that. But from my personal preference, that's where I, my personal um, uh, like likes when it comes to these kind of beers uh, lie. But all in all, you're talking about a place that is 15 minutes away from me. I'm going to crowler 12 bucks uh, for a crowler of, uh, of Pilsner, locally made. That does not suck. So, yeah. Yeah. Pretty good stuff. Let's talk about it. It's one of the better Pilsners I've had as of late. It's in the conversation. It's not Mount Rushmore status or towards the top, but it's quite tasty. Be it local, that's a good thing. Let's put it this way. As far as locality goes, it's, I mean, you know, I'm not a big fan of, I don't actually know if Zigmeister's ever made a Pilsner. They had to have. I know they make their Kolsch. Um, uh, Manskirt does a nice one. Um, and in and around the area, I mean, Conclave probably makes the best one I've had. I think it's up there definitely in the running for one of the better ones I've had locally. Vagate availability, 12 bucks for a Pilsner crawler. Man, eh, a perfect will be a little bit smaller, but it is COVID times. I don't mind paying a little extra. Let's put it that way. Leave you with, if you like, what will you like this beer? If you like Pilsner's are skew, a little bit more malty. Um, not heavy, but not as light as some of these, like, typical new school kind of crispy kind of uh pilsners go and you like to be malt forward you'll like this so there you go the review in the books hopefully you guys enjoyed it down there if you want to talk about it mass at beers if you want to check me out doing the social media stuff beer messy if you want to check me out doing the whole podcasting thing and hopefully you guys enjoyed your review hopefully you're enjoying a little bit of pilsner right now hope we'll see you next time cheers <laughs>